first in the potteries are getting a new fleet at the moment and today we're going to have a look around. Hello boys, girls and all in between, my name is Lucy Michaela and welcome to the first vlog of 2023. Welcome to Newcastle Underline Bus Station. This bus station is home to a lot of the routes on the outskirts of the city of Stoke-on-Trent towards the south side of it and heading into the Midlands. And today our focus is on a couple of fleets of new deckers that are coming, have come to first PMT. Now technically there is also the MMCs that have come in um, but I will cover those in a separate video. Today's is more important because and more interesting as one of the fleets that we're covering today are brand new 72 plate street decks, the first in nearly 30 years, with the last uh, batch being delivered many years ago from the older generation of deckers. Now, the other batch we'll be covering as well are the Enviro 400s, and our first bus for the day is actually going to be one of the older buses. We're going to be looking at the B70Ls that are going to be replaced by these new street decks. So, um, I think I'll see you on board, shall I? quite ironic because sat next to me is 35939 going to Hanley but I thought I'd stick with this one, cover this type and then when we get back to Hanley that will hopefully do the return journey to Newcastle just behind us which is fantastic. We are on board 32650 which is a KP54 plated B7TL right Eclipse Gemini. Now this type is already pretty rare now in the first fleet as a majority of sectors, in fact I believe all of them except for potentially eastern counties, have now eradicated this type entirely from the fleet. However, here in the potteries they have been still going strong, but this year will mark the end for the type. Now potentially not full time, we'll discuss that at the end of this journey or when we get off the bus, but these are being removed on the 25, these are of course branded for this route as you just saw before we got on, just above the doors they've got a very sim uh, simple pottery style branding, just old fashioned route branding like they used to do, um, but the new branding there on the street decks is the more urban 2 style branding that we've become used to seeing on the 101, the 18 and the mainline routes 3, 3A, 4 and 4A that we've Already covered in the previous video. At the moment there is only six of the new street decks so the route is half street deck and half B70L operation which is why I thought this would be the perfect month uh, to cover this route as the next lot of the street decks are not due until February. Um, so for the entirety of January unless they come in early um, for me the route is half and half. Now of course I'm filming this at the very beginning of the year but you won't be seeing this till mid-February so by the time this goes live there's potential that most if not all of the new street decks will be in service. This type of course has been a very iconic type across the UK but especially for first group as the interior on these, the first style interior, this one including the old old leaf maquette or whatever it was called, um, I actually called it the Barbie maquette, um, but not even had a seat maquette upgrade, that's how much these have just stuck to their type uh, which is fantastic and these are lovely buses. A couple of them of course have been hoovers and I believe they've been some of the first ones to be eradicated um, in the withdrawals, um, but we will talk about the at the end of this uh, when we get off. We will discuss the potential saviour of maybe two or three of these. Um, but for now, we're going to head on this into Hanley. I'll show you around the bus a little bit, show you some of the more aging features of this one. And then when we get to Hanley, like I said, we're then going to aim to get on a new street deck on the route. Also, noticing some interesting repair jobs on this, so I'll show you around those as well. jump off that B70L, we're now going to wait for the next one, which is likely to be that street deck that was just behind us. Um, so what they currently do, which is quite interesting, since the introduction of the street deck, they've actually changed the way the 25 works. So it now does an alternating service between either Kiel or Newcastle. The Newcastle runs used to be, as far as I remember, uh, were like in just the evenings and stuff, but now they do an interwork. So one will go up to Newcastle, then return back 
uh, and then it'll go out on a Keel University run and then return back. So it does like a Newcastle return and then a Keel return. Let's wait for the street deck and hopefully go on that all the way back up to Newcastle. You join me on board 35939. Now this is the first numerically and also our first street deck as part of this new constellation batch. Now the constellation name I, I can only assume is a relation to the fact that this service actually services two universities en route. So it goes through the University of Staffordshire or University of Staffs which includes their sixth form college there as well and then it terminates um, on the half hourly service anyway at Keel University. It actually terminates at Keel Sneed Arms but goes through the university. So it has two universities on route which makes this a very popular route on weekdays during those peak hours so um, not really the best one to use for Newcastle connections during those times. However saying that because of um, that busyness they used to get quite delayed and I do believe that's why they've introduced that service panel I was telling you about before where they actually now alternate between a Newcastle and Keel terminating. At least I believe that's what they've introduced because I don't remember that from before. There is a total order of I want to say 15 or 16 of these I believe. Um, there's enough basically to replace the B70Ls uh, on this route plus obviously a spare or two I'm assuming for the PVR of the route. Um, it is worth mentioning while we're on this that as you can see the interior is very very pleasant. Uh, it's got these very interesting concept Lazzarini seats where rather than the standard first Lazzarini seats we became used to during the 2015 to 2018 period of Lazzarini with that grey e-lever design, these are Lazzarini with the new Midlands and South Yorkshire blue and black maquette. A maquette I'm a big fan of by the way, I really like this maquette, I, I want this on a chair somewhere. Nonetheless, there's my going the other way by the way. Uh, <laughs> Nonetheless, these are also extra plush as they've got slightly more cushioning than your standard first seats. You can actually see they've got a slight back support at the bottom half of the chair, which is quite pleasant. Um, and they've also been fitted with USB charging, which of course is now standard on first vehicles. And I assume free Wi-Fi, but I've not tried that yet. They've also been given provisions for, for the next stop announcements with a new screen. Whether they'll get used or not, I don't know. But potentially it might be something that they launch once the full fleet's in service. We'll have to see about that. So that was a very pleasant journey on that 72 plate street deck. An overall review on them would be that they are a very smooth ride and those seats are very comfortable and it's great that they have USB. I didn't actually check on the free Wi-Fi front but I'm assuming they have them. Might put it on screen if they do. I'm going to quickly go and grab some food here and charge my camera for a little bit. And once I've done that I'll be back with you to cover the other fleet of buses that are coming. One of the five new Enviro, well not new, but five Enviro 400s that come up from the West of England fleet. So I'll see you on board when that, or I'll see you when that turns up. Okay, you drove me back at Hanley bus station. I've had a bit of a trouble trying to squeeze this last bus in. Um, I ended up coming down here on one of the spare bus branded Omnicities on the uh, 101 and couldn't quite reach the Enviro 400 I want to reach in time. So my new plan is to meet it here, get on the 101 back to Newcastle, round up in Newcastle, and when we do that, I'll explain a couple more bits when we get there, and once the video's finished off, I'm then just gonna go off and do my own thing for the day. So it's not quite the ideal finish, but it's the way it's gonna have to work, because, well, the bus didn't quite do what I wanted it to, to do. Um, so, I'll see you all when the bus turns up, um, and we'll have a quick look around it before I do a little bit of a description of the bus itself, and uh, where it's come from. Okay, so please forgive me if this is a briefer clip. I'm currently running low on battery, but we are aboard free 3826. This one was new to First West of England in late 2013, early 2014, while the batch of this was the SN63 batch um, for the Explore Together, eventually becoming the uh, XL branded X1 and X2 routes um, 
which is what this carried when it transferred up in May, uh, around May or June, when the five of these transferred up to the potteries. Now, another batch of these did, or well, another part of this batch did get sent to first east of England, um, or Eastern County, one of the two, uh, Essex or Eastern, uh, Eastern Counties, but it was sent to the east of uh, England for uh, operation over there. And those were repainted up and entered service pretty quick. In fact, some entered service in the XL livery. However, because the pottery still had the B70Ls and were able to keep those in, these are being properly done up before entering service. So they have been in the depot for quite some time. These were first seen in service in early December and are the ones that will replace the remainder of the B70Ls that aren't for the 25. You'll notice that the, re the interior has also been redone, and I noticed before I mentioned that the maquette we saw on the street deck was the new Midland South Yorkshire maquette. It wasn't. This is the new one, with the sort of black and purple design. That one appears to be a specific maquette for the Constellation livery, which is really cool. Similar to how the mainline branding, which we've seen here, has a similar maquette as well, which is a, a, the same style, this sort of straight line modern style, but with a colour scheme that matches the mainline branding, although it does almost look identical to the same branding being used on the other mainline brand over in South Yorkshire as well. However, we already discussed that in a previous video, I'll link that in the top corner as per usual. But that's not the point. The point is, of course, that this bus um, does look rather nice, and the interior refresh has improved it somewhat. However, there's still no free, uh, there's still no USB charging, and I'm not too sure on the free Wi-Fi list. I can't even check. My phone is nearly, if not completely, dead. Um, we're in on this for a short hop back to Newcastle, so the vlog was a little bit less interesting in terms of locations today um, than I wanted to. But I did sort of not prepare for it perfectly, so slightly my fault. But don't worry, the future vlogs this year are going to be a bit more interesting. Um, I have good plans, don't panic. I'll see you in Newcastle. Okay, and as 33826 free pulls off there, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. So, it's probably not been my best vlog, to be honest. I had better plans for this one, but with me not preparing it for it too well, it's not been brilliant. But, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, as I just said. Um, do feel free to check out all the social links down below. Uh, check out my Patreon as well, that is in there. That's now got two tiers to it. There is now your basic tip show of three pounds. And for six pounds, you can also pay for additional privileges. Um, bear me one sec. Yeah, you can pay for additional privileges. Those are listed in a public post uh, for the changes that there is. Um, if not, um, do check down below as I will mention it fully now in the description as well. So just above the social links, we'll have the Patreon link. Well, thank you very much. Uh, no. If you have enjoyed today's video, do put a like on it and make sure you subscribe. And when you do subscribe, turn on the notification bells. Just a quick couple of notes before we finish. That uh, Enviro 400 dollars noticed. If you compare it to the MMC that was pulled in just behind it, um, the Enviro 400s have actually got a new version of the Pottery's livery as well, which will potentially be being rolled out across the fleet, I'm not too sure. But it has a slightly different purple on the back end, and actually the Fuchsia front is a very slightly different colour as well. Um, this being to make the scheme a little bit more colour coordinated, so it's quite a nice um, change, and it is a subtle noticeable difference. Um, Nonetheless, I'm about to wait for the 25 once more, use another one of the street decks so I can get some USB charging for my phone, and then I'm going to do one of the refurbished street lights back to crew and head home. Um, so I'll see you on in the next vlog. Or the next video, depending on what you like to uh, watch or whatever you're here for. But nonetheless, thank you for watching, and goodbye.